programmable triangulation light curtains. Light curtains are all around us. They are in elevators, garage doors, and industrial equipment. They work by detecting interruptions between a light source and a sensor. They are remarkably simple devices that provide excellent reliability to safety critical applications. However, the main limitation of these light curtains is that they only detect objects on a single fixed plane. Each is designed for a specific application and cannot be easily reused or reprogrammed. For example, if light curtains could be programmed to detect objects along any surface, they could be used for autonomous systems like cars and robots. Robots could use them to check planned paths in real time or for robot safeguarding. And cars could use them to detect vehicles in adjacent lanes or keep a safety zone around the vehicle. We've developed a light curtain device that is fully reprogrammable and that can detect objects along any ruled surface in a volume. Here, the device is imaging a cosine-shaped light curtain. Blue points show the light curtain surface that's being imaged, and the detections are shown in green. As the tubes are rearranged, the person is detected when he crosses the curtain. Programmable light curtains still use a light source and a sensor, but instead of facing each other and detecting objects in a single plane, the light plane and the imaging plane are placed side by side so that they intersect in a line no bind triangulation. Now, if there is nothing at the intersection, the camera doesn't receive any light. But if there is an object along this line, the light is reflected back to the camera and it sees the object. By sweeping this intersection through the volume, a light curtain can be formed. Here, the line is being moved to create a plane, like a normal light curtain. The image in the top right shows the raw output from the camera. The raw output of the device shows where objects were detected in the scene. Now these devices aren't restricted to just planes. By changing the relative angle between the light and imaging planes, you can create other surfaces. Here, the surface is a cylinder. You can see the circular path of the curtain by watching the intersection of the planes where they meet at the floor. This is the optical schematic of our system. The illumination side is composed of a laser, collimation lens, a lens to fan the laser into a line, and a galvomere to direct the laser line. The imaging side contains a line camera, a small lens, and another galvomere to direct the viewing angle. The illumination side is emitting a plane of light, and the imaging sign is capturing a plane of light with a line sensor. By moving the galvo mirrors, the planes of illumination and imaging can be pointed to intersect at different positions. This is our hardware prototype. It consists of the illumination system, the imaging system, and a helper camera that is used for calibration and visualization only. For the illumination system, the 1D laser module is here and the galvo mirror is here. For the imaging system, the line camera, S-mount lens, and another galvo mirror are here. Here, the device was configured to image an arc-shaped light curtain. The right video shows images captured by the line camera, and the middle video is from the 2D helper camera's view, with a light curtain rendered in blue and detections rendered in green. As the light curtain device moves in the scene, the arc detects all of the objects that it encounters. This is a curtain for vehicle lane monitoring. It is useful for detecting objects that come into the vehicle's path from the sides and the front. Our device can suppress strong ambient light and work outdoors too. This curtain is detecting people crossing into the road from a sidewalk on a sunny day. Even though we use a low power source, the device can still image out to 25 meters in bright sunlight. This curtain detects objects by rapidly sampling a volume with a discrete set of lines. It is detecting people in the entire crosswalk rather than just a single plane. This is a video of the light curtain imaging through smoke. Notice that our device can see the road sign even when the smoke is very dense and the sign is hidden in the regular camera. Since the light curtain only receives light from the intersection of the camera and the line sensor, it effectively blocks almost all other light in the volume, which significantly reduces scattered light. In conclusion, programmable triangulation light curtains can be used as an effective object detector when you know where the objects are likely to be in your environment. This is true in robotics, cars, and in many other applications. Programmable light curtains will provide an effective, lightweight, and light computation alternative to and in support of existing sensors today.